So let's come back to our meeting. So uh, during the break, I scrutinized motions 41 to 91. Of them, I found that uh, you know, some were not related. Uh, I would suggest that um, the members who move the motions, please consolidate your motions. Secretariat now has received, including those already handled, a total of 257 motions. Before we adjourned, I asked you, you know, uh, for the sake of the meeting, even though I respect your right to move motions, but I think you need to tell me whether you have uh, finished all the motions. Have a chance that you have submitted all your motions. How about you, Gary Fang? Are you still writing some? How many more are you writing? I'm still writing. How many more you expect you would submit? I just want to have an estimate. Well, I'll keep writing as we vote. Well, I think this way is really unfair to the meeting, and it's also a bit, it's difficult for me to chair the meeting. Can you give me an estimate? How many motions you're going to move? Because before we adjourned, you said that's all you had. Now you're writing more motions. Sorry, I didn't say that. I, I was just uh, writing. I'm trying. I was just trying to write, you know, in the time allowed. Very fun. I suggest that please. You know, you said that you are still writing your motions, but can you give me all the motions that you are going to move today? I strongly condemn some members, Chairman, abusing our rules of procedures, thinking that members can just wantonly move motions. In the past, we had to deal with more than 200 motions. That's a waste of so many hours of, your, of our time. Chen Ken Lam, your view, well, I think uh, you just expressed your view. Abba Chen, without my permission, please. Don't speak. Please don't speak when you're seated. So now let's um, let me announce that the meeting today will be extended to 10:45. I don't think we can do with all motions, but we'll try. We'll try to deal with all the motions as much as we can. Wong Kong any question about the rules of procedures? Yes, according to the rules. I think rules cover how much time we have for this meeting. In dealing with the uh, procedural matters, as the legal advisor said, you can't deal with the motions in such a way that you know we paralyze the entire meeting. Can you consider that? Well, this has nothing to do with uh, rules of procedures. Well, you just express your view on the meeting itself. I understand your point, but we need to act in accordance with rules 32A. Now, let's deal with uh, motion 41. And right now, I'd like to make it clear as well. As I said just then, when we adjourned, I only uh, managed to scrutinize uh, 41 to 91 motions. But then, we have still received more, but it doesn't mean that we have accepted all of the rest of the other motions. So I need to scrutinize the motions. Uh, outside of um, this meeting time. Just before people ask me why I accepted and then rejected some motions, but I said that we only said we received motions. doesn't mean that we accepted them. So I only scrutinized up to motion 91 up till now. We still have more than 200. Do we have close to 300 motions outstanding? We've got 260 motions so far. Okay, motion 41. Uh, in accordance with Rule 32A, we uh, now agree to deal with this vote, uh, this motion moved by Abachan. Those four, please raise your hands. Okay, the bell will ring for one minute. Please read out this motion. Chairman, in accordance with 32, Rule 32A of the committee, we urge that since the uh, 
The artificial island may be the biggest reclamation project since the handover, and Hong Kong may not have enough building materials to build the um, artificial island in the central waters. Uh, the committee urges the administration to, when carrying out the um, feasibility and infrastructural study, study, um, please review, um, explore, use motor, uh, using local filling materials to build the. Um, Artificial island, and they found that we don't have enough fill materials to fill to build the island. Then the administration should stop the feasibility study for the construction of the of the artificial island in the central waters to avoid wastage of public money. So now it's time for voting. Before we announce results, members, please check your votes. Fernando Jo, have you voted? So time's up. Please show the voting results. Seventeen members present, three, four, thirteen against, abstention zero. Motion was rejected. Motion forty two, moved by Albert Chen. I think that this motion uh, is quite similar to um, Similar to, similar to another motion, oh oh six seven is it? I saw it. Yes, I think motion sixty seven um, covers what's in motion forty two. So therefore, I uh, will not deal with it now. Motion forty three. Time for voting on this motion moved by Albert Chen in accordance with Rule three two eight. Those in favour, please raise your hand. A bell will ring for one minute. Okay, please read out the motion in accordance with Chairman uh, Rule thirty two A. We urge that since the uh, strategic study of the um, building of the artificial island in central waters include the habitat for um, dolphins and a number of conservation associations is wary the habitat of the uh, river dolphins. Uh, would be subject to nuisance during the site investigation period. So we urge that the administration should specify that the site investigation work um, should not be carried out in the habitat of the uh, river dolphins, so that to ensure that the life, the um, safety of the dolphins will not be affected by the site investigation works. Okay, time for voting. Please check your votes. Time's up. Please show the results. Fifteen percent for, four ten against, abstention zero, so the motion was rejected. Next is motion uh, moved by Albert Chen. Moved in accordance with Rule 32A, Motion 44. Those in favour, please raise your hands. The bell will ring for one minute. Please read out your motion uh, in accordance with Rule 32A. Since the uh, uh, scope of study of the feasibility study for the building of artificial island in the central waters involved two um, straits, uh, which are passed by large ships and um, con Containers, and in order to um, reduce the chances of um, threatening maritime safety, we urge that the administration should keep in close close contact with the container business, and also keep in contact with the um, maritime um, operators in Hong Kong to ensure that. Um, we can come up with a plan, reclamation plan that would not threaten maritime safety in the nearby areas. Before I announce the results, please check your votes. Time's up for voting. Please show the results. Of those 16 members present, 4 for 11 against abstention zero, so the motion was rejected. Okay, motion 45. In accordance with Rule 32A of the procedures, we agree to vote on this motion moved by Upper Chandos in favour. Please raise your hand. Okay, 
One minute. Please read out your motion. We move that since the uh, administration says that um, the government says that, that the site investigation work will only produce a small amount of construction waste, but since over the past two years, all site investigation works would generate a large amount of construction waste indeed. So we urge that in choosing the consultants for site investigation, the administration should choose a uh, consultant that um, have not generated large amount of construction waste in their previous site investigation works, so that we can ensure that uh, you know we won't generate a lot of construction waste in the future, and we can use the landfills. The lifespan of landfills will not be further shortened. Time for voting. Please check your votes. Would you why? Have you voted? Okay, time's up. Please show the results. Sixty members present, four for eleven against abstention zero, so the motion was rejected. Okay, we agree to deal with the motion moved by the Chan in accordance with Rule 32A. Those in favor, please raise your hands. Okay, one minute. We urge, I urge that um, since the um, strategic environmental assessment uh, for the artificial island project is key to whether we can implement the artificial island plan. Since in the past years, uh, a number of environmental impact assessment studies commissioned by the study underestimated the impact of government works on the environment. So our committee urges the government that in um, choosing the consultants for the EIA, uh, the government should choose, must choose a consultant whose previous EIAs had not underestimated the impact so as to make sure that the artificial island project would not, you know, cause uh, damage to or serious environmental impact. So now time for voting. Members, please check your votes. Time's up. Please show the results. 16 members present. 5, 4, 11 against. Abstention 0. The motion was rejected. Um, we'll deal with this motion, 47, move in accordance with 32A by Albert Chan. Please read out your motion, Albert Chan. Yes, in accordance with Rules 32A, since that in the uh, funding proposal, um, the administration estimates that the consultancy fee for the relevant consultancy uh, only costs $6.6 .6 million. We'll a number of people have been worried that the consultancy work done will be unscientific and um, done sloppily. Therefore, we urge the we urge the administration to um, hand over the uh, consultancy contract to um, university organizations with ten years, at least ten years, of experience in conducting public opinion polls to ensure that the consultancy work will be conducted objectively and fairly. Okay, it's now time for voting. Members, please check your votes. Time's up. Let's see the results. 70 members present, 5, 4, 11 against, abstention 0, so the motion was rejected. Okay, motion 48. In accordance with Rule 32A, we will vote on this motion moved by Albert Chan. Those in favor? Please read out your motion. I'm going to move that. In the funding proposal, um, the uh, scope of study for the artificial island covers uh, um, 
water is that actually can be very deep, as deep as more than 30 meters. And that means the project will need very experienced um, consultants to carry out the ocean investigation works. So we urge the administration to um, go for consultants to carry out some investigation works. Uh, you know, the consultants must have experience in uh, carrying, carrying out in investigations in seabeds of more than 30, 30 meters so as to ensure precise investigation in the future. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display results. 18 present, 5 for, 12 against, no abstention. The question is negative. The next question is whether to handle motion 49 moved by Mr. Albert Chan under paragraph 32A of the PWSE procedure. Those in favor, please raise their hand. Mr. Albert Chan claims a division. The bell will ring for one minute. There's no English version for the motion. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says that huge infrastructure studies and feasibility studies would have to be carried out according to the paper. For these artificial islands in the central waters, huge dredging may be involved, thus leading to a rapid deterioration of the water quality. Therefore, the PWSC requests that the administration during the course of the feasibility study and the infrastructure study identify methods that do not require dredging for building the islands to ensure that the artificial islands for the central waters will not cause further deterioration of the water quality in the neighboring waters. Voting begins. Before I declare the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. 16 present, 4 for, 11 against, uh, no abstention. The question is negative. The next question is whether or not the PWSC agrees to handle motion 50 moved by Mr. Albert Chan under paragraph 32A of the PWSC procedure. Those in favor? Mr. Albert Chan claims a division. The bell will ring for one minute. Ms. Abachan, please read out your motion. There's no English version for the motion. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says that uh, as the administration has not formulated effective demographic policy, thus uh, the administration cannot accurately do a demographic forecast. Uh, and the artificial islands and the central waters may not be able to satisfy the future demographic needs. Therefore, the PWSE requests that the administration first formulate clear demographic policies to control population growth and its speed before starting the strategic study for the artificial islands in the central waters. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. 16 present, 5 for, 10 against, no abstention. The question is negative. The next question is whether or not the PWSE agrees to handle motion 51 moved by Dr. Fernando Chang under paragraph 32A of the PWSE procedure. Those in favor? The division bell will ring for one minute. Dr. Chang, please read out your motion. There's no English version for the motion. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says that uh, as Revealed in the judicial review for the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the judge pointed out that the administration had not completed B 
good studies for environmental capacity and benchmark assessment. Therefore, the PWSC urges the administration to complete a study on environmental capacity and benchmark assessment before starting the, st the feasibility study for the artificial islands in the central waters. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Uh, the results are to be declared. 17 present, 5 for, 11 against. Uh, no abstention. The question is negative. The next question is whether the PWSC agrees to handle motion 52 moved by Dr. Fernando Chang under paragraph 32A of the procedure. Those in favor? Mr. Albert Chang reigns a division. The bell will ring for one minute. Dr. Chang, please read your motion. There's no English version for the motion. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says that uh, as the feasibility and the possible sites for the artificial islands in the central waters have not passed uh, the second stage consultation for enhancing land supply. The PWS is of the view that a territory-wide public consultation should be conducted for 24 months. Uh, before constructing the artificial islands in the central waters. And there must be very clear public support before this feasibility study for the artificial islands in the central waters should start. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. 17 present, 5 for, 11 against, no abstention. The question is negative. The next question is whether or not PWSC agrees to handle motion 53 moved by Dr. Fernando Chang under paragraph 32A of the PWSC procedure. Those in favor, please raise their hands. I claim a division. The bell will ring for one minute. Please read out the motion. There's no English version for the motion. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says that uh, as the feasibility and possible locations of these artificial islands in the central waters have not gone through stage two consultation for enhancing land supply, the PWSC urges the administration to conduct territory-wide public consultation for 36 months first uh, before starting the feasibility study. And there must be a clear public support for these artificial islands before the feasibility study should start. Oh, you got to know. Voting now begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. 19 present, 5 for, 13 against, no abstention. The question is negative. The next question. For 54, 55, and 56, uh, these motions were returned to Dr. Fernando Jung for amalgamation. For 57, 58, 59, and 60, I ruled that they are not directly related to the agenda item. Then motion 61 is moved by Mr. Albert Chan. The question now is whether the PWSC agrees to handle motion 61 moved by Mr. Albert Chan under paragraph 32A of the PWSC procedure. I claim a division. The bell will ring for one minute. Please read out the motion. There's no English version. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says uh, that uh, for these uh, artificial islands, it were too many artificial islands such that the access roads cannot cope uh, with the vehicular flow. 
the PWSC requests that the administration in the preliminary planning for these artificial islands first decided that these artificial islands should not house a population beyond 100,000 people to ensure that these artificial islands will not be overburdened by too many residents, thus uh, leading to the incapacity of the transport system to, to cope. Voting now begins. Before I declare the results, please check your votes. Voting now ends. Display voting results. 20 present, 6 for, 13 against. The question is negatived. The next question is whether the PWSE agrees to handle motion 62 moved by Mr. Albert Chan under paragraph 32A of the PWSE procedure. Those in favor? Mr. Albert Chan claims a division. The bell will ring for one minute. Mr. Chan, please read your motion. There's no English version. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says uh, that uh, the administration said that it would conduct a study, including a study on the reclamation area. The PWS is of the view that the administration must formulate clear objectives for the feasibility study and fee for infrastructure and the works, such that the reclamation area will not exceed 500 hectares to ensure that the consultants for the study will not propose a reclamation area exceeding the artificial islands in the central waters. Voting begins. Before I declare the voting results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. 19 present, 5 for, 13 against, no abstention. The question is negatived. The next question is whether the PWSC agrees to handle motion 63 moved by Mr. Albert Chan under paragraph 32A of the procedure. Those in favor? Mr. Chan claims a division. The bell will ring for one minute. Please read the motion. There's no English version. The Chinese is shown on the screen. The motion says that uh, as the paper reveals uh, the infrastructure study, the PWS requests the administration to, in that infrastructure study, study the feasibility of using renewable energy to generate electricity on these artificial islands, such that the community of these islands can use electricity generated by renewable energy, so as to reduce uh, the demand for territory-wide electricity by the communities there. Voting begins. Before I declare the results, please check your votes. Voting is now closed. Display voting results. 20 present, 6 for, 13 against, no abstention. The question is negative. It's uh, almost 10.45. For those motions that have already scrutinized, uh, we have to leave them till the next meeting. As I said, before the next meeting, if you still have other motions, please submit them as soon as possible. After this meeting, we should not accept any more such motions without prior notice. As for those already scrutinized by me, most of them or many of them 
reflect issues that had already raised by members at previous meetings. There's already ample chances for members to voice their views. Mr. Gary Fan, you still have a few more motions. Yes, uh, they've been submitted to the clerk. After the meeting, I'll continue to scrutinize the remaining motions. We now have a total of 263. And today, we're on the only on motion 64. We completed 63. I'll scrutinize the motions after the meeting. Our next meeting will be held on the 2nd of July at 8.30 a.m. Any more question? A point of order? Mr. Chairman, I do not agree to your ruling just now. I think uh, you were being arbitrary. You were rather late. I've always been listening to this meeting. I've already informed members the principles underlying my approach for sharing the meeting. Well, you are entitled to your own opinion, but I repeatedly reminded those members who would like to move such motions what they should do. Well, just now you said, well, if you're uh, discussing my ruling, well, I don't think we should repeat uh, this discussion at this meeting and the next meeting. The chairman's ruling is the chairman's ruling. We can put all these on record. Dr. Fernando Cha, well, the meeting has been adjourned. Sorry.